Hi, and in this revision cast, we are going to be looking at how to structure a story for paper one, question five on the GCSC. And we will be doing that with Todorov's cycle, or a, rather a version of Todorov's cycle. So what do you think makes a story a story? Uh, that is to say, what do all stories have in common? Have you got any thoughts? Like what makes a story different than, say, descriptive writing? Or just telling somebody about your day? Well, the Bulgarian academic, Zvetan Todorov, he thought that all stories follow the same pattern. All stories, whether it's a short story or a movie or a book or a TV show, he thought that all stories are going to follow the same pattern. Is that something that you agree with? Do you think all stories, when you get down to it, are really the same? Well, we'll go through this and see if you agree with him. So, Todorov thinks that all stories follow a cycle, like this one. Now, he didn't actually use these exact words. This is just a slightly simplified version of his idea. Todorov thought all stories start with normality, then that normality is disrupted. We reach a crisis where the characters recognize how bad things are. They attempt to repair it, and they end up at a new normal. So, first step is your normal life in balance. That doesn't have to be like your everyday normal. For instance, a James Bond story would start off with James Bond's everyday normal, which for James Bond, is probably going to be him out on some kind of a mission. A superhero movie might start off with that superhero's daily life, which is maybe him performing wild superheroics. Whatever it's starting off with, though, the beginning of the story establishes what normality looks like for that character, what her normal life is like. Then, the next part of the story, maybe the next paragraph, if you're on the GCSE, you've got some kind of a disruption. Something is going to break the normality. So if your first paragraph was about, say, walking down to Mr. Cod to get some fish and chips, your second paragraph is going to have something unexpected happen. Uh, maybe the chip shop is out of fish, or maybe a robber suddenly bursts out of the door, or maybe an alien spaceship lands. Maybe your phone rings, and it's your friend saying, I've just caught a unicorn. Something unexpected is going to happen to break up your normality. Now, usually this is something bad, something negative, but it could be something good. For instance, in Cinderella, the thing that breaks up her normality is the fairy godmother coming down to offer her all sorts of free presents. Either way, as the story carries on, we eventually hit a crisis. Be the crisis is going to be something that looks very bad that happens because of this disruption. So this disruption broke the normality, and now when we hit the crisis, the character is going to be thinking, oh my gosh, things could never be the same for me again. Things look very, very bad. Looks like maybe the world's going to end, or maybe I'm never going to get my fish and chips. But my character is not going to give up here. My character is not going to just lie down and take it or die. My character is going to attempt to repair. And the attempt to repair is where my hero is going to try to set things right. My main character 
she is going to try to do something to fix her situation. And it's very important that the character, the main character, try and fix it herself. Because if someone else comes to fix the for that character, then it doesn't really feel like that's her story. Like, if I'm walking to the fish and chip shop and then a robber bursts out of the fish and chip shop and the robber pins me to the ground and tries to get my money, but all of a sudden Batman comes down and punches the robber and gives me my wallet back, well, that might be an exciting story, but it's not really my story. I haven't done anything. It's Batman's story. He's the one who's done it. So the attempt to repair should be something that my hero, my character's done to set things right. And finally, I end up at a new normal. And this new normal is going to be stable. It looks like the way that things are going to be from here on out. So maybe I'll have returned to something very much like my old life, but I'm a little bit wiser and I've got some more experiences or some stories to tell. Or maybe my character has a completely different, much better life now. Often in like a superhero origin movie, uh, the end of the movie will be totally different than the beginning of the movie and not normal in any way that that character would have originally defined it, but that will represent what their new normal, what their new normal life is going to be like for them, for that character. And the new normal could be something negative too. Like, for instance, in the most recent uh, Avengers movie, Infinity War, the new normal is that now uh, half the Marvel characters and half of everybody else are now dead. And that's not a happy ending, but it is the new situation, the new normal that's going to carry on forward. And now we're in a place too where we're set up with a new normal that could be disrupted again, go through another crisis, repaired, and cycled again and again and again. In a movie franchise, every movie is going to do this. In a TV series, every TV episode might do this. The Simpsons has done this like 25 times a year for the last 25 years. Let's take a look at one more example, uh, Star Wars, the original one, 1977. If you haven't seen it, that's all right. Just follow along. So we start off with normal. We've got Luke Skywalker here. He's living his normal life on this farm in a desert. And he's living his boring farm boy life when suddenly there's a disruption. The evil empire comes and attacks and destroys his farm, kills his aunt and uncle. And Luke thinks, oh, no. And that starts off a series of adventures that Luke goes on because his normal has been broken up. He can't stay at this farm anymore. And eventually we reach a crisis. The evil empire, the one that attacked his farm, they have a huge death star, a planet destroying space station. But Luke doesn't give up there. Luke tries to fight back. He fights with his friends. They escape the evil Death Star. They, in fact, blow it up. They destroy it. And at the end of it, they have a new normal. Luke's new normal, new normal life isn't that he goes back to his farm. His new normal life is that he is now a hero and a member of this rebellion against the evil empire. And that's how Star Wars works. Of course, on the GCSE, you're not going to be doing a movie. You are going to be doing a story. And as it turns out, Todorov's structure is great for a five-paragraph GCSE response. So this flowchart here, I've shown you what each paragraph could look like in your GCSE story response. You'd start off with a paragraph describing the setting and the main character, their normal life, their backstory, what motivates them. Second paragraph, 
there's a disruption, something happens that threatens your main character, keeps them from getting what they want, some kind of sudden danger. Third paragraph, you've got a crisis. Things look really bad here. Maybe you'll use some internal dialogue to show the character's struggle to not give up. Fourth paragraph, your character tries to repair the situation, try to set things right, maybe making a difficult choice, having to give up something or fight somebody. And finally, you're ending at a new normal where the character has gained or lost something and is going to reflect on how they've changed, probably ending on the character looking towards the future. So this is a great way to structure your stories. You can use it when you're doing a paper one question five. And maybe you can try one now, actually. Use that structure sheet and write a story set on a dark night, as suggested by this picture. Good luck. <laughs>